This company controls the world. Can you wrap your head around that? They control the world, and I am certainly not joking. Our food, electricity, water, finances, properties, environment, and so much more are being manipulated by this one multinational investment management corporation. Yes, it is multinational, meaning they operate all around the world. You've probably never even heard of this company before. This company is BlackRock, and would you believe me if I told you that they hold assets worth more than the GDP of every single country in the world except for two? BlackRock may have control on everyone. They may even have control on you. Are they trying to wreak havoc? Will they bring more bad than good? Or are they trying to dominate the world and at the same time save it? In this video, we will learn about what they are, their purpose, their goals, their impact on the world, and the answer to our burning question, are they good or bad? What is BlackRock? Well, first of all, they are a shadow bank. Have you ever wondered why you've never heard of this company before? Shadow banks operate behind the curtain. This may or may not be because they don't want anyone knowing about their businesses or don't want anyone to track where their money is going. BlackRock is the world's leading asset management firm. It was founded by Larry Fink in 1988. He became known as the $10 trillion man and the king of Wall Street. Fink knew business in and out, which led to his success as the CEO and founder of BlackRock. What assets do BlackRock own? BlackRock has $9.5 trillion worth of assets. That's more than the GDP of every single country in the world, except for the US and China. BlackRock is a shareholder in hundreds of banks, companies, and corporations around the world which is one of the reasons why they have so many assets. They have shares in big companies like Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Amazon, Tesla. Why do they have so many assets? Why do they control the world? Why are they a shadow bank? Why, of course, it is to profit. They utilize their holdings and investments to turn them into profit. BlackRock is not the only large asset management firm, though they are the largest. This company has a competitor, Vanguard. It was founded in 1975 by John C. Bogle. Though it was established 10 years earlier than BlackRock, they only have $7 trillion worth of assets. They are the second largest asset management firm in the world. How does BlackRock rule the world? If you engage in loans, investments, pensions, or every other thing related to banks, your money is one way or another connected to BlackRock. Well, that's because almost every bank around the world has ties to BlackRock through investments. Take the top seven banks in the US, for example. JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, US Bank Corp, Truist Financial, PNC Financial Services. In all of these seven banks, BlackRock is the largest shareholder. To be honest, BlackRock has ties to almost every single American bank. So it's likely that you don't really have a choice whether or not you have affiliations with BlackRock. Do they have ties to banks outside of the US? Yes, BlackRock has control of banks all over the world. They have shares in the top four Australian banks, Westpac, National Australia Bank, Australia and New Zealand Bank, International Netherlands Group. In Germany, they have shares of Deutsche Bank, Commerce Bank, Deutsche Post, Yes, they even have shares in Deutsche Post, Germany's largest postal system, and in the UK, they have shares in Lloyds Bank. In all of the banks listed, BlackRock is the biggest shareholder. You can really see how this company manipulates our finances. Aladdin. This is BlackRock's financial management system. It is a collection of systems and software that are all hooked together that support portfolio managers, traders, analysts, operations folks to perform the front-to-back actions of an asset manager. And what's scary about it is they have access to your personal information. They have shares in almost every single bank in the world. Your bank has your personal details and that's where BlackRock gets your information. Aladdin is a sort of database and is a massive fintech platform that manages over $21 trillion worth of assets. Other firms have tried to copy this technology, but so far, none have been able to replicate the same scale as Aladdin. Pension funds are investment for your retirement. When you put money into your pension funds, you don't actually know where it's going. This is because BlackRock is the one holding your money. 
You don't have a say where this money is going because BlackRock owns it anyway through all their ownerships and investments in banks. Most of the banks around the world all invest with BlackRock. So the money going into your pension funds are actually going to BlackRock. It's the same with insurance. Most of the funds you pay for insurance just go to BlackRock because most of the investment companies around the world get their funds from BlackRock. This is most evident in America where even the biggest investment companies like Alliance invest with BlackRock. BlackRock and other investment firms are buying all the real estate and driving up the prices. This is a huge problem for the average person who cannot afford to buy such an expensive house. Black Control has control over the media. Of course they do. They use it to cover up their tracks, so they won't be blamed for their damage to the environment or the fact that they are driving up the prices of the real estate. Take walks for example. They blamed the rising housing prices on Wall Street on the incapability of the government to handle the situation. Want to know the real truth? Wax is sponsored by Wall Street Bank, Goldman Sachs. BlackRock is one of the biggest shareholders of Goldman Sachs. And here's another thing. BlackRock owns shares in Wax's parent company, Comcast, which means they also somehow own Wax. Since Goldman Sachs is a sponsor of Wax, then that means BlackRock is also a sponsor of Wax because of their shares in Goldman Sachs. Mind blown? So is mine. BlackRock also has control over social media. This is because they own shares in almost every major social media platform and these include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp and more. Their control is so great that BlackRock and Vanguard own 90% of social media. Another reason why people are not aware of BlackRock is because of their manipulation of the news. It doesn't matter which news station is more reliable, accurate or truthful because chances are BlackRock owns a part of it. They control the news and that includes these stations. CNN, New York Times, ABC News, Fox News, NBC, The Sun, New York Post, dozens of other news outlets. I could go on and on because they have shares in almost every single form of media all around the world. Do you know what this means? They control the news everywhere. BlackRock engages in a method called circular ownership. This is very confusing, especially for the public, and is even banned in some countries for conflict of interest. It's when two companies have shares in each other. Did you know that BlackRock has shares in JP Morgan? Did you also know that JP Morgan has shares in BlackRock? This is how they confuse the public. We don't know why BlackRock or JP Morgan is doing this, but it may be to further cover their tracks and hide where their money is going. It's almost as if these two companies own each other which is really confusing if you think about it, but that's sort of the whole point. This part is really alarming. BlackRock is the world's biggest investor in fossil fuels. These fossil fuels are one of the biggest contributors to air pollution and global warming. They not only pollute the air, but fill the atmosphere with greenhouse gases, which is one of the reasons why Antarctica is melting and the temperatures keep rising. BlackRock is also the world's biggest investor in deforestation. They are funding the destruction of ecosystems. This includes the Amazon rainforest. They are harming the habitats and creatures that live in the Amazon. They have also been accused of abusing the rights of indigenous people by taking their own land. This is the sad truth. No matter how much we try to cut our ties with BlackRock, it's almost impossible because of how much power they have over our finances, real estate and environment. One thing you can do to help stop funding BlackRock is by switching to a small credit union or local bank. You could also do business with banks that do not engage in any environmentally harmful activities. By simply tracking where your money is going, you are making a difference and can help stop funding BlackRock. The power BlackRock holds is immense and it may actually be entirely impossible to not have ties to them because there are barely any industries that they cannot manipulate. Though this may be true, it may be for a good cause. BlackRock has environmental sustainability projects and maybe by taking control of the world, they are actually trying to save it. The amount of conversations we're having on climate risk and how they should navigate portfolios is a major component of the conversation. This is just a speculation. 
Some people think that their motives are bad, especially because of their investments in environmentally damaging activities, such as fossil fuels. The SEC's mission and the mission of anyone who manages money for investors is to protect those investors. We don't actually know the motives of BlackRock or whether they're a good or a bad thing. But one thing's for sure, this company is a superpower and may be the most powerful corporation on Earth.